Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Uh, afternoon. Yes, it's meant to be raining later. All right, so we're just out here charging the battery off this lithium charger and it's charging all of the batteries in here which haven't been done for months anyway let's just go in here and look quickly okay so the main batteries are still taking 4.6 amps and this battery's full oh no there it goes it's almost full marvelous all right now i did um say i would try and explain uh the wiring of this switch a bit better and fuse sizes <coughs> and stuff so okay what I have is I have one of these standard switches that's not fused and to fuse this I might get my wife to come and hold the camera so you can actually see what I'm doing if she doesn't mind can you hold the camera with that in focus there hold this bit uh, now with the other unit you can see they're all got this joining wire okay between each separate one with the other unit just simply cut that there and put a fuse in between but as I'm going to be using a fuse bar so what I'm going to do is simply go in I'll tape that up later Okay, so what's that giving me is one, two, three, four, five wires. Now, I'll use these soldered butt end connectors. You have all seen me use those in other videos. That's a very soft solder in the middle of them. And you simply heat them with a hot air gun and they solder a joint. And I'll be putting a soldered wire joint on each one of these wires and that will individually fuse each one of these switches and the base of the switch that is where I will put say the lights uh, pump um, whatever on here okay the UV light which is 45 watts okay so you know the wattage of these things over here on my calculator love now to work out the amps like the UV sterilization light on the filter is 45 watts so I put in 45 and then I'll go 45 divided by uh, the nominal voltage which is 12.7 equals and that's 3.54 amps okay that's what that is going to draw now because it's a light that is exactly what it will draw so 3.5 so i will put a 5 amp fuse on that and that is enough to run the light and if there's a short it's enough to blow the fuse thanks darling Thomas. thank you very much all right 
So what happens to the other end of this wire? All right, so I've put a, uh, an extension wire on here on each one of these. I've taped the joint at the bottom so it can't short on anything. And what I'll do, remember I already said this one here is fine because at the max it's only going to have um, 23 and a half amps through it. So this is, is actually fine the way this is wired. So I'll just put a 20 amp fuse on this one. Um, now, so off here now, okay, this is where my fuse box comes in. Uh, let me open my fuse box. Oh, hang on. Sorry why I put the camera down for a second. Oh. Uh, come on, fuse box. Uh. That's hard to open it. There we go. Okay. So there's my fuse box. And then I've got this bag of odds and sods down here. So I get the right size um, eye. Okay. Once I've got the wire length right, I just simply put it in there. Now this is where the positive goes in. All right, so the positive's already up the middle and the positive comes out there. And um, this thing turns a little red light on. I'm not sure how it does it, but it does. There's absolutely no ground in this at all. It's a weird little thing, but it works. So don't ask me how. All right, someone who's smarter than me will tell me how it works, but all I need to know, all I need to know is the fact that it works. So any blowing fuse and that corresponding light will come on. So I take one of these wires and I will wire it there and then I will put the correct fuse size in there. And then the load will come off here. Okay, uh, now there's only very small loads on these switches like you would never put an inverter on one of these switches. All right, the maximum you'd want to put on one of these switches um, which is more than what I have planned for any of them is about 10 amps, okay? I don't know what the maximum amp ampage is on them. Probably close to, oh, here we go. It's written on the side of them. 12 volt, 20 amps DC or 24 volt, 10 amps, which of course is the same as 12 volt, 20 amps. Okay? So that would actually put 20 amps through one of those. I wouldn't have done that. I would have probably put a maximum of 10. But I'm always a bit on the safety side. Safety Sally. Um, all right. Now why? So this one here, what this one does, as it's wired now, is it, it, it puts the light at the top on. Okay. That's the light. So all these have got lights on them. Uh, that's the light and this one here just basically puts power to this when you switch it when you switch the switch when you switch the switch okay and this these are all waterproof okay and it, it's, it's pretty simple the way they operate really you know the middle ones you light the top ones are your your um, neutral or negative and um, um the this this one here's your power all right so i hope that explains it you know it's it's um i've got to pull these apart and tape these ends now but that's that's how i do it um for the low amperage i'm going to be running the actual uh, i wouldn't need to do it to the uh, neutral line the negative line I should say, we're talking DC here, just a positive line. But if you're running bigger loads, then obviously you would do what I did here to the negative line and run them all to the ground. And that way, you know, you're not running all this current just through over and over and over and over, um, you know, because they do get hot if you pull too much through them. But I won't be, so I won't be doing that with this one, okay? I won't be cutting 
that negative uh, negative line the same way I did the positive line and ran on those separate. If I was running bigger loads, I would. Okay, how you wire it is 100% up to you. This is how I wire it. It's not a how-to video. It's explaining how I do it. Okay, and working out your uh, amperages is easy and um, all wire, DC wire you buy has got um, its load and length on it and then you can work out exactly uh, what millimetre wire you should be using or gauge if you're still in the uh, Imperial. Alright, that's video two on this subject. Keep safe everyone. Bye for now.